Hello, my name is Jack Doles, Director of Training at Tulsa Welding School, and today we're going to talk about uh, running a 2G open butt 6010 root 7018 filling cap. And before you get started on running 6010, you need to make sure that you have all your stuff prepped. So I went ahead and prepped up a piece of plate here so where you can see it. I've got it all ground on the outside, on the both sides all clean. And then also I put a land on. What is a land? Okay, what is that? Well, when you cut a bevel, it goes to a knife edge. When you put a land on, you're actually going to grind across the top of it, flattening out that bevel to where you got a nice land on there. And I, I'm going to hold this up. Hopefully you can see it. But you want this to be a 1 8 size land. So you can take a 1 8 rod, okay, and you want to put it on there. And there should be a flat spot basically as wide as the rod is on here. All right, and that's what you're looking for. It needs to be all the way down, nice and smooth. Take your time when you're prepping these and making sure you got a nice land all the way across there. It's critical that you have a good 1 8 land on your plate and a good gap on your plate so you can get nice, smooth uh, 6010 root. So I've went ahead and already got one tacked up. Now, as you can see here, I've got it already tacked up. It's in place in a 2G position. And uh, we're going to run a 6010 root. I've got it, uh, my land in there, I've got my gap right. So everything's ready to go. So uh, let's run a 6010 Route 7018. This is a part of a certification test as well. So I have a lot of people that want to get certified in structural welding and uh, they come in and take this test. So I wanted to show it to you today. So let's get right into it. I'm going to run a 6010 Route. Uh, I'm going to run it around 80 on the amperage and uh, let's do it. Okay. When you run 6010, you want to keep a nice tight arc length, okay? What happens when you're running 6010, a lot of times people long arc, okay? Well, when you long arc, it makes the hole bigger and it eats out the metal in front of you. I'm going to use a little step technique and that's all about keeping your keyhole right. And so when your keyhole is small and tight, you can keep the rod close to it. Sometimes you can even just drag it or just little baby steps. When the keyhole starts to grow, maybe your land's not right. Maybe your gap's really wide and you're starting to get a big keyhole. You got to start stepping farther away from it so it has time to cool so you can come back and get it. Remember this, every time you step away from the keyhole, you have to come back and touch it. You can't just keep moving away and not come back. It won't follow you. So if you step away, make sure you come back and tap it. As long as it's following along, and when it stops, go back and tap it. Then it's following along, go back and tap it. And that's really all this is to it. But once again, it's important to keep a nice tight arc length. If you start the long arc out in front of it, or you're whipping it and flaring it out, you're going to end up with big keyholes, you're going to end up with lots of problems, and you're not going to pass the test. So I'm going to show you a little bit today. Hopefully uh, you can learn and pick up something. Here we go. We're going to run 6010 root in the 2G position around 80 amps. Oh my gosh, come on. You want all the fire, all that bell going out the back. Alright, you can see how I was keeping that rod in there real nice and tight. You want to keep a real nice tight arc length. I can show you some of the do's and don'ts, but I want to mess this one up. Maybe on the next one I'll show you a little bit of the don'ts and show you how you can get it out of control really quickly. So let's continue on. Let's get this root pass done here real quick. Turn it up just a little bit just for the heck of it. Alright, here we go. Okay, 
We successfully got our 6010 root in there. And now what we'll do is we'll go back. I'll actually take my grinder, clean it all up, get all that slag and, and, and trash out of there. Then we can go back in and run our 7018 filling cap. So give me just a second. I'm going to grind it, clean it all up, and then we'll go ahead and uh, run our 7018 filling cap. Okay, so now we've got our, uh, got everything all cleaned up in there, got rid of all the slag and stuff out. <clears throat> it's all clean now, ready for our fill. So we're going to go ahead and uh, run it about 85 to 90 on with the 332 7018 rod. And we're going to run a little oscillation in there because this isn't a very wide bevel. So we're just going to run a little oscillation in there, make sure we're fusing from top to bottom. Then we'll come back and add our stringer beads in there and uh, make everything look real nice and put a nice clean cap on it. So here we go. Like I say right here, we're going to run this first pass. It's basically it's a hot pass in there. It's just in there to fill the groove up a little bit. Uh, then we'll come back and put uh, our fill passes in. So here we go. Looking good. So now what we'll do, like I say, is we'll come back and we'll drop stringer beads in there, run one along the bottom, probably one along the top. That will get us nice and flush. Then we'll put our cap on. go. Put this with a wire wheel real quick, clean this up.
Okay, so now we have completed our 2G 6010 root 7018 filling cap, open butt. We got the slag peeling off and everything. So now we can take this over to the bend test. We can go over and cut our strips out. We'll set it up, we'll cut a couple of strips out of here, making sure that uh, my weld is solid, but you already know it is. And so we'll, uh, we'll go over there and we'll cut these out. We'll get them all bent up and we can show them to you at another time. But this is a little tutorial on 6010, 7018 in the 2G position. Um, like I say, 1 8 land, 1 8 gap. And I uh, hope you enjoyed our video. Looking forward to hearing back from you. If you got questions or concerns, please reach out to Tulsa Well and School. We'll be glad to answer your questions. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something today. And if you want to stay up to date, and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.